Hey, good morning. What you got going on today in today's case? Oh, today we have an interesting case because we're dealing with a condition called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. And what's unique about Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome is that it's a connective tissue disorder which causes the ligaments and the tissues and the connective tissue in general to be hyperlax. So people that have this condition have a tendency to have hypermobile joints. So these are the people that can do all the party tricks. They can hyperextend their elbow, they can put their hands behind their head, they can put their arms 360 around their body. They can do all kinds of crazy break-in moves if they're break dancers. They probably work for Cirque du Soleil where they can put their heads over their body. They're the contortionists of the world. And that condition, as cool as it may be, leads to soft tissue disorders that lead to hypermobility of the joints, including the joints of the spine. And so our patient today has Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome that affects her spine and it's resulted in instability of her neck down to the upper part of her lower back, or I'm sorry, her mid back. So we are doing a fusion that's going to extend from the neck down to the upper part of her thoracic spine. These surgeries typically require a little bit longer construct to stabilize the spine so that we can effect, effectively stabilize all these unstable segments. The only issue is that in time, the segments below, because the tissue is still hypermobile, they could also become abnormal. And this may require an extension of the fusion as she, as she ages. But it's a really cool condition that does have some side effects, unfortunately, that result in the need for surgery. And when it's really bad, it can affect the eyes, the heart, the intestines, the uterus, it can affect pregnancies. I mean, there's a lot of potential downsides to this condition. And today we're treating the downside of it affecting the spine.